You are welcome to another video of ISI Sloting Protocol, Concept and Configuration. In this section, we will talk about ISI Sloting Protocol, Convergence Process. The question is, what happens when a change occurs in the network topology and how the rotor's routing table is updated? This is exactly what we will discuss in this section, and it is done through the convergence process in ISI Sloting Protocol. Adjacency, database exchange, and creating routing tables are three steps required not only in ISIS but also in most routing protocols until network routes are created completely in the network. Now the question arises how the network topology changes are managed in the ISIS. In summary, it can be said that when a change occurs in the network topology, the router or routers that observe the topology changes directly inform all routers of the network about the changes by sending a new LSP. The changes may be a change in the metric of a link or a link failure or even addition of a new link in ISIS routing protocol. Routers that are directly connected to this link will see the changes without the help of ISIS and will notify all routers in the network by sending a new LSP. Of course, sometimes changes is observed with the help of ISIS. For example, when no hello packet is received from the neighboring routers during the hold time. When neighboring routers notice the LSP change, they update their own database and send it to the other neighbors as well. Each router confirm the LSP changes to the sender by sending PSMP. Then each router independently updates its routing table by rerunning SPF process on the database. In this figure, router R2 notice that the links connected to router R3 is down. The router sent a new LSP indicating the change and the router R1 confirm the receipt of the new LSP by sending a PSMP. Router R1 update the routing table by updating the database table and rerunning SPF process. This is a small example how the convergence process works in ISIS routing protocol. 